Hey everybody, Confound it here with the uh, update to my Hapog HD PVR2 settings tutorial that I put out back in October. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me, why do I get these black bars on the side of my recording? How do I get rid of the black bars on the side of my recording? Well, that's a setting that's handled uh, with your Xbox. I'm not sure if it's the same with the PlayStation, but I'm assuming that it is. So, let's go ahead and uh, take care of that. All right, what we've got here is the dashboard of our Xbox. I'm going to go up here and uh, next I'm going to go to settings, then down to system. And right now I have mine set at 480p, and that's uh, most likely what yours is set at if you are getting the black bars. So what you're going to want to do is click on optimal resolution. And for me, it's going to return 1080i, but I know I have a 1080p uh, TV, so I'm going to change that just as soon as. So uh, at least the optimal resolution is going to give you a good idea of what you're working with. And then you can try the other ones and if it doesn't work it's going to uh, take you back to what does work. So having said that, you know, um, short of getting a new television that's how you get rid of the black bars but you know make sure that you're using a high definition setting which would be 720 or 1080 whether that's 1080i or 1080p and that is that for those alright now the rest of this tutorial is going to be in two parts and uh, the first part not two parts is in two different videos but I'm going to do the first part of it is going to be if uh, all you use is the ArcSoft Showbiz software that ships with the Hapog HD PVR2 and then I'm going to do the next part of it is going to be if you use any software other than the ArcSoft Showbiz software. So if you are using ArcSoft Showbiz, this is what you're going to want your settings to be. Under the uh, H.264 encoder, I'm going to go ahead and put that back on the defaults. Go through here, I'm going to switch that to 16.9, that's aspect ratio. Putting that on 16.9 just to make sure it's in 16.9 because that's what we want. And I'm going to click on apply then the video encoder I'm going to put this to 9 well I can't type it in there we go 9 and apply and then OK and that's all I'm going to do let me make sure the device settings are alright video decoder in TSEM that's good and I'm keeping the color settings on the default also so that is that and here is the result and again this is just for the arc if you only all you use is ArcSoft Showbiz what we have here is one game cut into 20 different parts and you can see that I have just laid the transitions on here and it never crashed with me once and the quality was um, pretty good it was I was uh, actually really surprised by it both that this never crashed on me it only slowed down once or twice and uh, you know I've got as many transitions as well more than you could possibly ever need but uh, there they are and I've got 20 different cuts from one game so that's good stuff I tell you what And here I'm just playing a little bit of uh, what was rendered out with those new settings that I just showed you. And again, these settings are only if you're using the ArcSoft Showbiz. Now, if you're using software other than the ArcSoft Showbiz software, these are the settings that you're going to want to use. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where it is what it is so you want to put this on 16.9 let me switch it back to the default okay all right 16.9 and then for the video encoder we'll just go ahead and crank those all the way up click on apply I forgot to apply back there but it took anyway and that is it simple enough I was just checking to make sure the bit rate and the peak rate were correct right there so yeah that's that 
All right, so that wraps up this quick little tutorial about uh, the update to the Hapog HD PBR2 settings. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you know anybody else that's having any trouble out there, uh, you know, share my channel, share the video. Um, yeah, that's it. Y'all have a great day. And y'all come back now, you huh?